Do you ever wake up and just go, huh, it's today. Today is today. It's gonna be good. It's a good day. It's gonna be a good day. It's already a good day. Look at the sun shining. I thought it was gonna be raining. Washed my truck last night and I was all sad because I'm like, oh, I'm gonna drive into the rain in the morning. So far, so good. But let's not speak too soon. We gotta go that way into Canada. We're in Fargo, North Dakota, starting our day. We're going home. Just a couple more hours. Go straight up north on Interstate 29, which will turn into Manitoba Highway 75 in Canada, drop this empty trailer off at work, then head to the shop. Should be home for supper. I was up pretty late yesterday, I came here late at night. I got here at like 1.30 in the morning, I think. I went and had a shower. I uh, edited my video. Now, we're headed off this way. Let's see if we can get out of this lot. Feels good driving a nice clean truck in the sunshine. I was looking at the forecast yesterday and it looked like it was supposed to be thunderstorming today, but maybe it passed over at night. I can tell that my hood is a little dirty with dust, which means it probably rained during the night because it was perfectly clean when I went to bed. Well, that's okay. We'll fix it at the shop. I want to go home. No load behind us. Just a whole load of sailboat, fuel, and motorcycle doors. Oh, where did you come from? Sneaky, sneaky. I'll allow it. Oh, now you. Okay, okay, I'll allow it. One more, I'll allow it. I'm a good guy. Okay, remember that. Could have cut you off. I had the power. I had the abilities. I chose not to. See, you wake up in the morning and you make good choices. Don't cut people off. Was your lane not big enough for you there, bud? Did you get your big trailer around that corner? Oh boy, took her pretty wide there. You see that?
don't live on plains and prairies might think that's kind of interesting. For me, it's just normal highways. For me, it gets weird when it gets into the hills and mountains. We're coming up to the Canadian border here. This is uh, Pembina, North Dakota here off to our right. This is the oldest settlement in North Dakota. Just a pretty interesting little fact. It's right up here at the Canadian border. About a mile up is the border and then it's Emerson, Manitoba. It's not quite as old as Pembina here. But it used to be a big uh, a trading fort, I think. On the Canadian side here, just catching up to a bit of an oversized. Oh, it looks like he's wide and over height. Gonna sneak past you here, bud. He's got a nice western start. Look at this truck. I like those western stars. Growing up, uh, my dad had a western star at one point. I think it was a 99. I think. I'd have to ask him again. Maybe it was a 98. That was when I was a kid. Went on a couple of trips in that. And then I also drove uh, one of our Western stars here at Keystone uh, for a couple of years. That's one of those 5700s, I believe. I found that that truck rode very rough, though. It rode like a tank. Not a very smooth ride. I'm not sure if it was just the truck model or if all Western stars ride like that, but yeah, very stiff suspension. Very uh, rough ride. Ah. Did we hit the cement? No, nope, need to go further back. Further back, I say. Further back. How about that? Let's try that. Was that too far? Looks like we nailed it. Good. Shut that off so I can hear myself think. And because fuel prices are very expensive right now, and when there's nothing on that deck, there's nothing being paid. But that's okay. I chose to come back empty because I wanted to be at home for the weekend. And it wasn't that bad. It's just down the road, pretty much. Still pretty clean, I must say. Not bad. Not bad. The Blue Beacon always does a good job in Fargo. Better than I ever do. I can never get it as clean. I don't know why. I have all the tools and all the stuff. But I have to sit there and scrub it by hand if I wanted to be so clean. And they just have like six guys just spray it with a bunch of water and chemicals and suddenly, poof, clean. You know, I gotta sit here and sponge bath it if, whatever, you get it. Oh, I'll probably sponge bath it anyways. That's the only way I can get it clean. Just a nice scrub down. Yeah, everyone deserves a good bath. But I'm going home now. It's been a good trip. I want to have my weekend. Not bad. Pretty straight. Not quite straight yet. Very close though. Every time. Like I'm going to put lines on the floor or like tape or something. I'm going to put something on the floor so I can back in easier straight because you have no idea how many times I have to back this thing in. Oh, I'm too crooked this way. Oh, I went too far this way. And finally I get it straight. I know, I'm just complaining. I should just go home. I should stop complaining. I should just go home.